I just wanted to give a review of this Polar H10 heart rate monitor. Actually, not so much a review, but just more of my experience with it. If you're... If you want to skip ahead, you can. The video of me actually riding the bike, you can skip ahead. Um, if you're wondering how I put the overlay information, I used the program Race Render. You can download your data from the Polar Flow website, and that's how I did that. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about this uh, H10 and uh, why I bought it. So... My fitness level, I'm 5'7", 130 pounds. I haven't exercised in about two years. I broke a rib and I've been quite sedentary for about two years. And um, before that, I used to regularly run on the treadmill. And that was my only prior experience with, uh, say, checking my pulse using the bars on the treadmill to hold on to and it shows your pulse. But I would regularly run on a treadmill. I haven't been on a bike in about 20 years. I haven't had anything you have to pedal in about 20 years. I saw this uh, BMX racetrack near my house and I said, I got to try that. That looks like a blast. I looked for a bike on the used classifieds. I found one for about a hundred bucks. I went, bought it, didn't even ride it in the person's driveway. I put it in the car and went straight to the BMX racetrack. I got to the racetrack and now I've ridden that track three times in three weeks and each time I've done about three laps. It, when you watch the video you'll see why only three laps. So when I went there the first time I was quite surprised at how difficult it is. Uh, you don't have to pedal, but you have to use your legs a lot. So there's no ped there's no real pedaling involved. It's mostly using your legs. It's called pumping. So basically like doing really fast squats, going up and down, up and down. When I got to turn two, I was hitting a wall. It was like my heart was going out of control. I felt my breathing was fine. But my heart was going way ahead of my breathing. For the first straight, I feel like I have the strength in my legs. But it feels like my heart is just going out of control by turn two. That I'm just not able to continue. Except that I'm stubborn and I keep going just to get to the end. Uh, so I don't got to walk through the grass. I did that three times the first time. I came back the next week, did it another three times. And then I said, I'm going to try one of these heart rate monitors so we, I can see what's going on. I bought the heart rate monitor. Uh, it came. I hooked it up. It was easy. The app was easy. Bluetooth connected. Everything um, connected fine. It was really clear how to use it. I went to the track. Uh, the strap, if you're just standing still, when you breathe in, the strap kind of goes down. Um, so I was worried it slipped down every time I breathe in. But once you start actually riding, it doesn't, you don't notice it at all and it works perfectly fine. So I put it on. I went for the first lap. And by the second corner, if you watch the video, you can see how my heart goes out of control. And uh, I hit that wall where I can't continue. So last year, I had two ECGs done where I felt like I was having a really fast heart rate and uh, doing nothing, just walking and uh they even did a 48-hour one where I carried it around on my hip, the meter, and uh, you're all connected to the to the sensors, and uh, they didn't find anything. So 
I'm not really sure. Maybe you guys can check it out and see um, if that's normal. Maybe I'm just out of shape. Uh, I hope I don't got any blockages or anything like that. But it's disappointing that I'm that that I lose my breath so quickly uh, by the second corner um, on something that you're not really pedaling on. Let's see in the next couple of weeks how it goes. I'm hoping that my uh, fitness gets better and uh, that I can do that whole track without gassing out. And uh, because even though I'm gassing out, hitting that wall, not able to continue, I'm having a blast. And I just hope I'm not doing any damage or it's not dangerous for me to put my heart up into that high of a rate for such a long period of time and uh anyways check out the video and uh i hope to update in the next couple of weeks how it goes thank you for watching if you have any questions put it in the comments
Ah. <sighs>